Hey, welcome to this episode of Fostering Golf Balls, titled An Update. Part of Fostering Golf Balls is finding golf balls. Sometimes I find them on walks with my dog. Other times you go to the local golf course at the trench and uh, take your handy 15-foot stick and you find them and pull them out. Sometimes you find them on your random walks. This is alongside Industry Hills Golf Course. And sometimes you deliberately go look for golf balls. This is at Pebble Beach in Carmel off the 10th hole, as you can see um, having some fun finding golf balls off the golf course. And once you find them, the drill is the same. Uh, you put on your favorite podcast or whatever you need to do, uh, go in the garage, clean the golf balls, add them to your pile, and slowly but surely you end up with a pile that looks like this. Now this is not something that just happened overnight, but you, as you accumulate golf balls, you build up a lot. And the easiest thing to do is with all these golf balls is maybe it's just my brain and this need to sort, but you sort them out. So you can put them into different categories based on their types of golf balls. So you have TP5s and Z-Stars, you have Pro V1s, you have Pro V1Xs and AVXs. And basically I have a small section of my garage dedicated to this. Then you have your other non-premium balls. And slowly but surely you have a little category for everything and you start to pile them up and if, if you notice some of them are in USPS ba uh, bags which we'll get to in a little bit and with the golf balls what do you do well some of them you use for your videos and so here I am testing out different golf balls on the uh, putting green sometimes you use the golf balls and you uh, lose them as you can see here if you couldn't track the ball I literally hit this into a tree Sometimes you gift them to your friends. This is a nice set of Pro V1s that you give away. Captain American Coors Light. You'd be very proud. So, and uh, this case, um, I actually ended up finding more of these Vice Golf Balls. A friend really likes Vice Golf Balls, so you give them away. And with more and more friends getting into golf, um, well, there's always golf balls to give away. But even after you give away all the golf balls, uh, you still have a lot left. And decided, what if we sell the golf balls? And, and that's basically what I've been doing, um, packaging them, selling them at a very cheap prices, as you can see here. Um, if a golf ball typically runs for $4 a ball, I sell it for roughly a dollar. So basically 25% off the value of a found golf ball. And um, I've been able to sell to places all over the world. Um, not all over the world, actually, <laughs> all over the country, which is kind of cool. And um, people like the cheap prices. I like giving golf balls back to the tune of $1,700 in sales over the past six months of just selling golf balls. Um, that comes out to about $900 in net profit. What do we do with the golf balls? Well, we just give them back to the golf courses that we play on, and then we lose the golf balls again. I'll have a future video on the economics of golf balls and finding them. It's not good. But for now, thanks for watching.